I just found an AI video generator that can turn a simple story idea into a full video. Characters, scenes, voiceover, everything in under 8 minutes. All I did was type a few lines and the AI did the rest. No storyboarding, no animation skills needed. And guess what? I'm not just showing you one tool, I'm testing two. Stick around to see how they compare and check out the stories they created. Alright, first up is Animate AI. This one claims to generate full animated stories with consistent characters and automatic voiceovers. Let's put it to the test. I'll type a short story I generated using ChatGPT, but before we hit generate, let's click on any of these icons. You see it brings up this settings window. We have the number of scenes, maximum three in the free plan, then the duration of each scene is five seconds in the free plan. For the visual style, you can choose either Pixar or Disney styles. You can't change the resolution in the free plan. The text model you can choose from this drop down list. You can also choose the image model. For some reason, only Mid Journey is available. And the video model, Minimax or Kling AI. Subtitles are available in the paid plans. You can choose between English or Chinese. On the right, we have high quality voiceovers to choose from. Now I hit generate. You see, it started generating detailed prompts, the story, the character details, and even the character sheet with the character from three angles. Then we can see three storyboards are being generated. The storyboards are ready, but on the free plan, they remove the ability to edit the storyboards. And here is the final story you can download. Well, I am impressed with how quick the video was generated. The scenes look smooth, except for this character duplicate we see at the start of the video. And the voiceover is pretty decent. The total length of the videos it generates on the free plan ranges between 16 and 22 seconds. The videos you generate on the free plan are public and anyone can download them. But let's see how it compares to our second AI tool. Before that, let's answer the question, is Animate AI worth it? If you think about it, to create this kind of 3D animation the traditional way, you need to design character images. Use Leonardo AI or Mid Journey to generate the character images. Refine your prompt until the AI outputs a uniform design across multiple angles. Create separate AI-generated environments and objects that match your story's theme to maintain visual consistency. Animate your scenes. AI won't get the motion right the first time. Generate multiple versions, tweak prompts and adjust settings to get smoother, more natural movement. Generate the voiceovers for each scene. Stitch the short clips together in editing for a polished final product. But if you use Animate AI on the free plan, you can generate 16 second 3D story with consistent characters in matter of minutes. You can immediately download and use the final video you get. I think it is pretty good deal. Of course, 60 15 seconds is too short and sometimes the scenes aren't exactly as you want them but for those you need it for short small projects it does the job. Now here's El Tatbot Studio. This one works a little differently but promises more control over visuals and voices. Let's run the same story through it and see what happens. We start at the concept tab on the top. You can give AI control by choosing develop concept with AI or choose stick to the script option. You can add up to 12,000 characters in the text box. Then I click next. We now move to the story Storyline tab. This tool gives you three storylines to choose from. You see the two alternatives on the left, but I'm going with the first one. Next, the settings and cast are generated. Here you can choose the project name, the aspect ratio, the video style, and even upload a reference image if you have one. On the right, the characters are generated. Then breakdown of the scenes. We get the storyboards. You can edit the prompt, the shot type, generate motion, and regenerate it if you're happy with the outcome. Let's expand this to see what we got. The zoom in effect is smooth. I like this one. If you click the three dots, you can do a bunch of things. Lock the frame, delete, download or duplicate. You add a shot or delete one. Then we have tools. Face expression, generative fill, remove objects and camera angle. If we click on camera angle, you can click and drag to any angle you like. Zoom in and out with scrolling and confirm your change by clicking done. Back to tools. I'm going to choose the remove object. Now, if I click on remove object, you see the man disappears. You see how clean the picture is after removing the young man. Most scenes are nice realistic and have smooth motion like this one, the man walking from behind. I am going back to the storyboard window. 
Then click on cast. On the top, we can change details about the characters. I am going to change Madame Corva to an older lady. I will change the age and the hair color to gray. This looks better. I will apply to save the changes. Now, from time to time, you get this abnormal anatomy or morphed character when you apply motion. I will demonstrate how to fix it. I want some consistency in next scene, so I will duplicate this scene and I edit the details. I want the old lady to point to the bird in the cage. I try to add details to the prompt to look the way I want it, but I got this weird arm and hand of the lady pointing to the bird. I used the words perfect hands, but it didn't seem to work. It changed the character completely. To fix it, I tried the remove object, remove the lower part of the arm, then used a generative fill tool to redraw it with a simple prompt. This gave me a much better hand. I did the same for the other arm and I must say I like this generative fill tool. Now, the expression of the old woman doesn't look natural, so I will try to affect it using the face expression tool. From the expression presets, I chose determined and this makes the expression a bit better. I played with the eyes and head positions to get a slightly better expression. This isn't perfect but a way better than what I got initially. Try a few prompts like I did here to get a shot you like and is usable for your story. First I want to clarify I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Animate AI or LTX Studio at the time of making this video. So the review is purely based on my experience using both tools on the free plans. Ease of use. Both tools are easy to use, voiceovers. Both tools offer high quality voiceovers and a good variety to choose from. Here are some images I generated with LTX Studio on the free plan. The Animate AI 3D animations seem better. The reason being, as you have seen, I had to do a lot of prompt tweaking to get the images and motion right. While on Animate AI, it got the motion smooth and realistic from the first try. It is still not perfect as we have seen the duplicate character, but it is better than LTX Studio. Customization options. LTX Studio had more customization options, at least on the free plan. Performance and speed. The tools are comparable in rendering speed. I would say they are fast considering we're using the free plans. Pricing and free plan limitations. Animate AI is more expensive. They don't mid-range plan for now and even their free plan is limited to 16 seconds while the LTX studio I made took over one minute. They offer mid-range plan for $15 with generous number of computing seconds per month. Which tool would you use? Let me know in the comments below. I also must mention that Animate AI keeps the character consistent with no efforts while LTX Studio you need to work on the prompts. I prefer Animate AI but it is more expensive than LTX Studio. This is the final result from Animate AI. It has a watermark that is not easy to remove. That's another drawback of this tool. This is the final results from LTX Studio. Elliot Gray had always admired birds, from the tiny sparrows in the park to the grand eagles that soared above the city. But he never dared to climb or even look down from high places. Heights turned his stomach to knots. One afternoon, he found himself at Madame Corva's bird sanctuary, an eerie old house perched at the very edge of Windmere Cliffs. He had heard rumors about her birds, how some were said to be magical. Inside, the air smelled of feathers and old died. A black raven named Nix sat with a broken wing. If you wish to help him fly again, you must first learn why he fell. Elliot took Nix home and spent days nursing him. He fed the bird, spoke to him, and watched as he slowly healed. But one problem remained. Nix refused to fly. One evening, Madame Corva visited him. She led Elliot back to Windmere Cliffs. The wind howled, and the drop below made Elliot's legs tremble. She handed Elliot a single raven feather. The last feather she said, isn't his, it's yours. You must let go of fear before he can let go of the ground. Elliot, heart pounding, stretched out his arm. Nix, as if understanding, spread his wings and leapt. For a moment, he dropped. Then with a powerful gust, he rose higher and higher until he disappeared into the sky. Elliot stared in wonder, and for the first time in his life, he wasn't afraid of the edge. Courage isn't about avoiding fear. It's about trusting yourself to rise.
If you want to learn an easy way to get consistent characters for your story, watch this video next.